I am back with another Akashic Story Time. And what is Akashic Story Time? It is exactly what it sounds like. It is a story about somebody's soul history. And this one is titled The Matriarch Dragon. So step into the time machine with me. I always love it when people reach out to me and tell me I have been seeing a dragon in meditation. And so what does this dragon want to tell me, they ask. And I created a portrait, this one right here, and that was for a client. And this dragon kept presenting itself to her. And after I was done with the portrait, I dove in with my own dragon guides and we traveled into her Akashic records together. And as I was working on the portrait, I already started to receive messages from her dragon. And my client had been feeling stuck like her spiritual process had hit a wall. And she was especially frustrated with her third eye being blocked. And we'd been talking about this dragon energy that had come up in the last healing session that she had um, with somebody else. This dragon presented itself to her. And from the moment that we connected, I clearly sensed that this dragon wasn't just there to make an appearance. It was there to burn through the energy blocks that she was experiencing. And when I tuned into her energy, I saw her dragon clearly. The dragon's fire was a crystalline flame, a shimmering light that changed from peach color to magenta and a deep ruby and purple. And this flame was gentle yet powerful, like an energetic purifier, wrapping around my client as she slept. And this is what her dragon was showing me. And then I felt a significant amount of energy behind her third eye, almost like it had been hidden there for safekeeping. And it wasn't that she couldn't access her clairvoyant abilities. She could, but her higher self had put a block in place, like a safety mechanism. And I do talk about this regularly. We do this to prevent overwhelming emotions from past lifetimes from paralyzing her uh, in this present lifetime. You have heard me say this before. Linear time does not exist beyond the 3D. As much as we think of past lives, they're actually all happening now. And her dragon had a motherly energy. There was a connection to Archangel Shamuel, whose name translates to God's love in Hebrew. The dragon showed me her cave, covered in moss, with little flowers growing in the moss. And the deeper into the Akashic records we traveled, the clearer it became. My client was not only connected to this dragon, but had been this dragon mother herself. Her dragon was really an aspect of her soul. And this is something that I have been exploring for a few years now and have gone deeper into in my Dragon Codes initiation journey. So I was not surprised to see yet again an incarnated dragon. This dragon mother showed how deeply connected they had been in other incarnations. And it all began in the Golden Seraphim realm, a place of pure devotion to Mother Father God, creation and joy, where the dragons worked closely with the other angelic realms. After her experience of being a Golden Seraphim dragon, they existed in a universe far older than our own, where they moved through and consisted of light and plasma creating spirals of energy that birthed new worlds. The dragon reminded her that this incarnation was about remembering the joy and creativity of life, despite the feeling of stagnation. And next we traveled to a lifetime in the Lyran star system, a paradise where dragons like her incarnated, 
She was a matriarch, creating new life and teaching young dragons to shapeshift. But when the Lyran War happened, she experienced deep trauma. Witnessing the rise of negatively polarized reptilian beings left her feeling powerless, and that trauma carried over into this lifetime. Her dragon told her, that this is the lifetime where she gets to release the pain she's held on to since those lifetimes, reminding her that her gifts are her birthright. She also had an Atlantean experience where a similar situation took place. The same pattern repeated itself. And it was about clearing blocks, but it was also about helping her to remember who she truly was. And her dragon's presence was about much more than spiritual development. It was about awakening her to the full spectrum of her multidimensional soul and gifts and full higher self integration and acceptance. And her dragon was there to help her rediscover the power and joy she once knew to guide her through releasing old traumas, and to bring her back into alignment with the gifts she had cultivated over countless lifetimes. It wasn't about forcing anything, everything was already set into motion. All she had to do was allow herself to receive step by step. And if you feel that you are ready for an in-depth collaboration with your angelic dragon family, or if you feel that you are ready for a comprehensive Akashic Records reading, looking into your soul's incarnations, blueprints, mission, blocks, the medicine that you came to share with the world, a channeled watercolor portrait that activates and awakens soul codes and memories, helping you to piece together your multidimensional self. If you are ready for diving deeper, into any of this, then reach out to me and check out the other Akashic stories that I have in this series. And for any questions, leave a comment or message me, and I will be back soon with more stories. Bye bye.